in this PSLE 2015 FIFA 2 question series, I'll be going through question 18. So this is the final question for the PSLE 2015 paper 2 questions, okay? Okay, in my channel, I aim to help all of you master all of those concepts out there and think beyond the boundaries for really tough questions. Okay, so let's dive straight into question 18. Okay, so this question is testing us on the pattern concept. Okay, so this question has three parts. I'll be going through part A right now and part B and C later in this video. So let's read the question first. Ishak uses rods to form figures that follow a pattern. The first four figures are shown below. So figure 1 is this, figure 2, so they have added this, this thing over here. Figure 3, they added 3 more. Figure 4, they added 5 more here. Okay, so part A. The table below shows the number of rods used for each figure. Complete the table for figure 5 and figure 6. Okay, so we need to find the pattern to find figure 5 and 6. So we understand that they have added 5 more rods over here for figure 2. So they have added 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So they have added 5 rods. Okay, and then for figure 3, they have added 3 more rods. 1, 2, 3. For figure 4, they have added 5 more rods again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the pattern is, I will show you right now. So, plus 5, plus 3, and then it is a plus 5 again. Okay? So, plus 5, plus 3, and then from here to here, it's another plus 5. So it's always a plus 5 plus 3. Just like here. So figure 1, 2, 2, plus 5. So 10 plus 5, 15. Then after that, 15 plus 3, 18. And then 18 plus 5, 23. After that, after 5 is 3. So it is 23 plus 3. So in order to find figure 5, we take 23 plus 3 equals to 26. So 26 is the answer for figure 5. Okay, next after 3, it is plus 5 again. So it is 26 plus 5. So 26 plus 5 equals to 31. So 31 is the answer for figure 6. Okay, so I hope you understand my explanation for part A. Let's move on to part B now. Okay, so this is part B. So they are asking, what is the difference in the number of rods Ishak would use for figure 9 and figure 11? Okay, so this is what they are asking for part B. Okay, so what is the difference in the number of rods for figure 9 and 11? Okay, so we use the table again. And we should note that two figures make one group and the difference of rods in each group is 8. So I don't really think you know what is the group. So the group is 5 plus 3 and 5 plus 3 again. Okay. So this is one group and this is another group. So first we take the difference in figure 11 and figure 9. Which is 11 minus 9 equals to 2. Now two figures make one group. So we take. 2 divided by 2 because 2 figures make one group, right? 2 figures make one group and the difference is 2 figures. So we take 2 divided by 2 which will give us 1. So this 2 stands for 2 figures makes one group. Next, we take 1 times 8 equals to 8. So the answer is 8. We take this 1 over here and this 8 actually refers to the difference of rods in each group equals to 8. Okay? So this is why we take 1 times 8 is equal to 8. So the answer is 8 for part B. So I hope you understand my explanation for part B. So let's move on to part C now. So this is part C. So how many rods will he use for figure 30? So this is the question, okay? So now, this is the same thing as the last slide, okay? So basically, um, this is the note and this is the table. 
so it's the same notes as well now 30 minus 1 is equal to 29 why do i do this i take 30 minus 1 this 1 came from where it came from this figure number 1 figure number 1 which will give us 29 okay so 29 so 30 minus 1 equals to 29 so i take this so that it will be easier for us to solve so this is the first figure okay now 29 divided by 2 this 2 came from where it came from two figures make one group okay so that is why we get 14 or 1 what does or 1 mean it means remainder 1 okay so the, the quotient is 14 and the remainder is 1 okay now you take 14 times 8 which is equal to 112 what is this 8 coming from it came from the difference of rods in each group so after we are done with this we should always times the difference in the rods in each group okay now 112 plus 10 equals to 122 do you understand why i plus 10 so i this this 10 came from the number of rods in figure one i'm adding 10 because at the start we minus one first the we minus the first figure that is why we are adding back the first figure now so it will give us 122 okay so now 122 plus 5 what does this mean 122 plus 5 what is this step so plus 5 where did this 5 come from so this 5 is basically from the remainder 1 see this remainder 1 the 1 is in the group okay so it is the first number so 5 comes with comes first followed by 3 right so 5 is the number 1 and if in the case of 14 or 2 right if it was 14 remainder 2 that means i'll add 5 and 3 but since it is just r1 i'll only add the first number in the group okay so this is why it gave us 122 plus 5 equals to 127 so 127 is the answer for part c okay so i hope you understand my explanation for part a b and c and thank you and bye-bye. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.